Hello everyone, so today we'll be going through another list of 10 underrated mods, this time Fabric version 1.16. My channel has been growing really fast lately because of the shit ass video that I made, so I'm really happy about that. Anyway, thanks for all the support and let's get into the video. Alright, so the first mod that we have is Flash Set. At hindsight, this might seem like another mod that changes Rotten Flash into Leather, but the way they do it is much more interesting than the other ones. Firstly, you can craft rotten leather from two pieces of rotten flesh. After that, you need to hang the rotten leather on a rack, which can be crafted like so. Now all you need to do is to wait for it to dry and you get your leather. So yeah, I think this is a really simple and really good mechanic you can add into the game, so be sure to check it out. The next mod that we have is Phonos. This mod adds a few different types of note blocks and music players. To get started with this mod, first you need to find a village. Inside the village, you'll find a small music stage owned by a technician villager. You can buy a guidebook from this villager and it will teach you everything you need to know about this mod. I think the most useful block in this mod would be the radio speaker. This block allows you to insert multiple music discs and broadcast the music to any speaker that has the same channel. This is especially useful if you want to play the Minecraft music disc on the shovel, or if you want to play those music in a really big mansion. You can also craft it with pumpkin which makes it a decorative block. Overall, this is a really cool mod and I recommend you to check it out. Next up, we have Dire Bats. This mod adds a type of bats that spawns in caves, but they can also spawn on the surface during full moon. These bats are neutral in nature, but they will be hostile if they are exposed to any kind of light source. If they see any item on the ground, they will go and pick it up and run away. At that point, the only way to get the item back is to make them hostile. Be careful though, as their attacks have a chance to inflict blindness for 5 seconds. But if you defeat them, they will drop a Diabat Fang which can be used to craft arrows that can inflict blindness. So yeah, it's a simple mod that makes exploration a little bit more fun. Alright, so the next mod that we have is Pig Poop. This is quite a silly mod that allows pigs to poop. Pigs will now produce poop as often as chicken lay eggs. You can pick up the poop and use it as fertilizer or if you want you can eat it actually. Poop is two times more effective than bone meals and if you give a pig golden carrots, they will be able to poop golden poop which would be 20 times more useful than normal fertilizer. The cool thing about this is if the pig poop isn't picked up for a while, it will actually act as the fertilizer on its own. So you can basically have a pig around your farm and it will actually help you to grow your crops. Although this is kind of a silly mod, but the fact that it has some utilities make this quite a good mod. Moving on, we have Particle Rain. This mod replaced the default rain with some particle effects. In addition to snow and rain, deserts will now have sandstorms. This is a really nice addition to the vanilla visual effects, and I just don't understand how this mod can be this underrated. Next up, we have Quicksand. This mod adds some new features to the existing ant biomes. This mod adds quite a lot of contents into this game. There are two new types of materials called Arganum and Paramulet. Arganum is a really durable material that has excellent enchantability. While Paramulet allows you to actually have a side grade to the netherite armor since it gives you speed bonus. This mod also adds some plants, food source, or even mobs in the end dimension. For the world generation, this mod added a new type of tree and a cave system into the end. I think this mod will really go well with the new Better End mod. So next up, we have Medieval Weapons, or better known as Song of War. This mod basically adds a bunch of really high quality weapons into this game that are really easy to craft. Each of them have their own functions and they just look so good in even third person. The weapons are really simple to use so I don't think we need an explanation for how to use the weapons. So the only thing that I would like to say is go check it out, it's really awesome. So the next mod that we have is Watt Block Mod. This mod adds 6 types of blocks that provide different types of benefits and perks into this game. The first block is Growth, which accelerates the growth of different kinds of plants, crops, and saplings in an area. The second block, Health, provides regeneration and saturations to players in an area. The third block, Defense, inflicts damage to different kinds of mobs that comes into the range. The 4th block XP eliminates all hostile mobs instantly and spawns the XP orb above the XP block. The 5th block attack do the same thing as the XP block but it doesn't drop any experience. For the loot block, it do the same thing as XP or attack but instead of the XP orbs, it will spawn the goods above the loot block. 
These blocks cannot be crafted, and the only way to find them is in dungeons, buried treasures, and bastion castles. Alright, so the last mod on this list is Bird Watching. This mod adds a bunch of birds that are really high quality into this game. It also adds different types of binoculars and a guidebook for you to learn about the birds. It's quite a simple mod and there aren't too much to it, but the thing that I like about these mods is that it really brings vibrancy into this game, especially when the quality is this good. But keep in mind that this mod is only available in 1.16.1 at the moment. Alright, so that's all the mods in this list. In the shit ass video, I made a joke about how 90% of you guys are not subscribed, but when I checked the statistics, it's actually true. So if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing, it's free. If you don't like it, you can change it later, and it really helps out my channel. Alright, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.